Hello guys, welcome back to my lesson. In this video, I want to tell you about the fraction. The fraction is one very important definition in mathematics. And when you want to learn more further math, you have to know about the fraction. So what is the fraction? You can see in my circle in here, I have equivalent part. This part equal to this one, equal to here, equal to this one, equal, equal, and the same thing here. And you got eight parts in this circle. And you will have all these eight parts have to be equivalent together. It means they have to be equal size or they have the same length area or something like that. Okay, so I, when I want to shade it for one of them, I want to shade it in this part. So I will present this shaded part. And you can see in my screen now, I have the total part is eight parts. And when I choose the shaded, shaded region, I only have one part for shaded. So the fraction present for this shaded region, I have one over eight. So this form is present as a fractional form. So you can see we have three parts in this fraction. The first part, you got the number, the number at the bottom on top. We call this is numerator. And the number in the bottom, you got denominator. And the last part, you have this side, we call that bar. So numerator over denominator, they have the bar in the middle. So this form, we call that fraction. And when I want to move, when I want to shade it one more part in here, and one more part in here, so you can see I have eight part in total and i have the shaded region is three part two three so this one i have three over eight the fraction present for this shaded region is three over eight like this okay that's quite easy for fraction right so another example about the fraction i have for this one in the first exercise i'm got only two parts this side and this one Okay, so how about the shaded region? The shaded region, we have the total is two, and we have only one part in the shaded region. So we have one over two will be present for this circle. The second one, I'm got one, two, three, four, five, five part in total, and only one part is shaded. So one over five is a fraction present for this one and the last one you can count that one two three four five six seven eight and you have one part for shaded so one over eight will present for this circle okay example four how about this one so can you tell me about the fraction of this shaded you got three part in total and you got one part for shaded reason so one over three is my Final answer. Question five, count. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got six in total, and you got one part in standard region. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got over nine, and you got one in the numerator. And denominator, we have the total part here is nine parts. Okay, and the next question, how about this one? You got four part and you got one shaded one over four you got one two three four five six seven seven part in total one for shaded so one over seven and for this one is quite easy right you can count by yourself and then you got the fraction here is one over eight one more exercise about the finding the fraction describe the shaded region in the circle. You got the first one in here and you got only two parts and you have one shaded part so I have one over two. And how about this one? You got one, two, three, four, four parts in total and you got two parts for shaded. One here, two here, so you got two over four. You got two over four. Next one. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six part in total and three part in the shaded. So you got three over six. And how about this one? You got eight in total and you got four in shaded reason. Yep. Okay. Next question. How about this figure? You got about the triangle. You have two parts 
and one part is shaded so one over two is either fractional form present for this triangle and how about this square you got four parts and one part for shaded so one over four and for this one you got uh, eight sorry seven one over seven is my final answer for this question okay and larger shaded region in the first one you got one two three four four in total and you have one shaded two shaded and three shaded you got three over four one two three four five six seven eight over eight in total part and you got three parts for shaded so three over eight and here is quite easy you got two over three when present for this shaded rectangular that is the way how can you using a uh, fraction uh, describe or present about the shaded region in the figure so that is very basic or very simple definition of fraction it's not too difficult right so in next video we will learn more harder about the fraction so thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time bye bye